What is going on, Swayze gang? Back with another exciting Bronco video. Now, ever since I took delivery of this car, and even before then, I have had a lot of people ask me, and I've seen people ask on the forums, whether the soft top is noisy and exactly how noisy it is. With hardtop orders being very difficult to come by nowadays, they're practically impossible to purchase and a lot of the hardtop orders have been pushed into 2022 and even out through 2023, a lot of people are converting to the soft top. And with that comes a load of questions like how loud is it really? And am I really gonna get annoyed with it? Well, that is what we're going to find out in today's video. <laughs> Now for today's test, I'm going to be comparing the soft top noise on regular roads. I'm also going to be taking it on the freeway and then I'm going to compare both of those results against my control, which in this case is a 2018 Toyota RAV4. So I'm gonna compare both vehicles, seeing as how the Toyota is a good average to compare this vehicle to, since it's not a luxury car with extra sound editing, it's just kind of your average crossover. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to be using the Decibel X app, which I have on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now, I'm not saying this Decibel app is accurate, but it should be consistent test after test. So regardless of whether it says it's 80 decibels on this car and 70 decibels on the RAV, you'll know that the difference is about 10 decibels. That will give you an idea on exactly how much louder is the soft top Bronco than your regular SUV. So let's stop wasting time and hop in and we're gonna start with just regular roads and driving with the soft top closed. Okay, I am in the back seat of the Bronco. We got the fiance driving uh, because th for this test, I want to have my smartphone sitting right over here. So the, this is generally the middle of the car since it's a two row vehicle. Um, so this will capture pretty much the average sound within the car. So let me turn uh, the app on and let me show you what it's like on a road that's about 40 mile per hour average speed limit. Okay, well there you have it folks. So on average, it was around 50 decibels, uh, which is really not that bad. Obviously, when we slowed down to a stop, it went down to in the, I think the 30s or the, or the low 40s. And then when you had uh, big cars driving by or you were going over bumps, it went over 60. But I would say a good average is you know 48, 49, 50 decibels. Really pretty manageable for a road where we were averaging 35 to 40 miles per hour. What we're gonna do next is actually get on the freeway uh, where the average speed limit is about 70 miles an hour and see what the decibel looks like at those speeds.
Okay, so we are still on the freeway and I'm gonna report the results. As you guys saw on the camera, the decibels didn't really increase by that much. Uh, the average was still around 52. Um, it did peak, you know, depending on the bumps and there's semis driving by, so obviously that adds to the sound. But on average, you're only about, you know, two to four decibels louder than driving on the city streets. I will say though, it is more noise consistently. So even though the decibels aren't much louder, uh, you definitely hear more noises around you and you just don't get that driving in the city because you have stoplights, so those noises just don't surround you as often as when you're on the freeway. What we're gonna do next is jump into my Toyota RAV4 and do the exact same test and then we'll circle back and compare the results and that will determine how much louder the soft top is compared to a normal SUV. All right, we are in the RAV4 and going to run this exact same test on the exact same road. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is how different it is sitting inside of the RAV compared to the Bronco. I mean, they're completely different vehicles. The seating position, the height of the windows, everything's totally different. But anyways, I digress. That's part of a different video. We are right now going to get the Decibel app loaded and I'm going to click play and we're gonna see exactly how loud it is in the RAV4. Okay, so the results are in and I am a little surprised. So when we were actually driving around 35, 40 miles an hour, the decibels were about 46, 47. So if you guys remember, the Broncos was like 50, 52. So you're talking, you know, about five decibels difference between the two vehicles. What I will say is you were more consistent with the RAV, whereas in the Bronco, because of the soft top, if something drives by you, it's gonna peak a little bit louder. So the biggest peak was around 62, uh, but it was more consistent around 55, 60 was like the loudest it ever got in the RAV versus 60 to 70 is how loud it got at the peak in the Bronco. Uh, the other thing to note is at a stoplight, this was quieter by about 10 decibels. It got in the high 20s versus in the 30s for the Bronco. So when you're driving, it's really not that big of a difference, but when you have cars driving by you or when you're at a stoplight, that's when it's a bigger difference. But we're about to jump on the freeway and we'll compare the exact same results. Okay, we just finished the freeway run and it was surprisingly very similar to driving on the street. We averaged about 49.3 decibels uh, with the peak being 55.3, so actually a little bit less than the peak that we had when we were driving on the road. But overall, you know, the difference between the highway and the city was like one or two decibels, so not as big of a difference as you'd expect. Now let's jump back into the Bronco, regroup, and talk about the results. Okay. Let's talk about the results. First off, let me turn the car on to get some AC going because it's 100 degrees outside. All right, now one thing that surprised me is the decibels driving in the city and on the highway were almost identical on both of the vehicles. I expected a larger difference between the two roads just because whenever you drive on the highway, it's generally louder inside of the cabin. Now the decibels on the Bronco were on average between 50 to 52 decibels between the city and the highway. The RAV4 on the other hand was between 47 to 49 decibels, making the decibel difference between the two only three to five decibels really not a significant difference between the two vehicles however i did notice that on the bronco the peak and the trough of the decibel meter were way more dramatic than they were on the toyota for example if you're at a stoplight in the toyota 
and there's a big car that drives by you, you don't hear some of those sounds coming into the cabin as loud as you do with the soft top in the Bronco. It was also quieter at a stoplight in the RAV by about 10 decibels compared to the Bronco. So overall, sitting inside the Bronco, it's going to be naturally louder all of the time compared to some of the quiet parts that you may have sitting in the RAV. Because the windows are so large and the soft top surrounds you, you obviously get way more noise inside of the cabin, but overall, it's really not that much louder than a standard SUV. Now, numbers aside, decibels don't really give you a great idea as to how loud it is inside of the cabin. I mean, what exactly is 55 decibels, right? You can compare it to other things, but everything has its own pitch, its own frequency, and you're gonna hear things a little bit different. But what I tried to conduct in this test was show you that the difference between a soft top and a hard top crossover SUV really isn't that big. But that being said, it is noisier sitting inside of the Bronco. Now, you're not going to get any sort of ear damage driving with a soft top roof. I mean, 55, even 60 to 70 decibels is not going to cause any type of ear damage. But using those figures, you can also determine that you can easily have a conversation with another individual inside of the Bronco without feeling like you're really shouting extra loud. I mean, like I said, the difference is only about five decibels between the RAV4 and the Bronco. So maybe just speak about five decibels louder. Now, to be honest, I was surprised with the result. Results. I was thinking that the Bronco would be about 20 decibels louder uh, than my Toyota RAV4 and I honestly expected the decibel meter to hit about 70 decibels. The one caveat to that is like I said the app may not be the most accurate and the positioning of where the microphone was could have distorted some of the decibels but overall I am very impressed with the sound editing that you have in this Bronco. My fiance used to own a 2005 Jeep Wrangler and that one also also had a soft top. It was very nice, but the problem was anytime we were driving on the highway, which we actually did do a decently long road trip in the Wrangler at one point, you could not really have a conversation in the car. You would have to shout for the other person to really understand you, and it just got a little bit obnoxious and annoying. Technology has come a very long way, and this is much better in terms of sound insulation than a 2005 Wrangler. Now, I can't speak on the new Wranglers and the soft tops, but I can tell you it is better than the cars of 15 years ago. Well, there you have it, folks. Hopefully that provided you some very useful information. If you have any other questions about the soft top or the sound, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to address them either in the comments or in future videos. If you haven't hit that subscribe, button to stay on top of all of the Bronco and Hellcat news, make sure you do so and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Shwayze underscore. Well, until next time, boys and girls, stay Shwayze, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.